Have you ever wondered if you as an American can legally visit Cuba despite all the complex regulations? Today we're exploring the latest guidelines and everything you need to know to plan your trip to this vibrant Caribbean island. Cuba, with its rich culture and tumultuous history with the United States, has long been a destination of interest for many American travelers. Recent changes in regulations have made it possible, yet somewhat challenging, to visit. Let's explore the current state of travel to Cuba for U.S. citizens as of early 2024. Travel between the U.S. and Cuba has been heavily influenced by diplomatic relations, which have fluctuated dramatically over the decades. Following the Cuban Revolution in the 1950s and the establishment of a trade embargo in 1960, travel was largely restricted. However, the landscape of U.S.-Cuba travel policies has evolved, particularly with significant changes under administrations like Obama's, which eased many restrictions in 2014, and Trump's, which later reinstated many limitations. As of now, Americans can travel to Cuba, but not for simple tourism. You must qualify under one of 12 authorized categories for a general license. These include family visits, journalistic activities, professional research, religious activities, public performances, support for the Cuban people, and several others. The most popular and flexible category today is support for the Cuban people, which requires travelers to engage in activities that support local Cuban businesses and culture. When booking your trip, you'll declare your travel category and might need to outline an itinerary that meets the requirements of your specific license. This could involve staying in local guest houses, dining at Cuban-owned restaurants, and participating in cultural activities. It's crucial to keep records of your itinerary and expenses, as U.S. authorities can request them up to five years post-travel. Despite eased restrictions, traveling to Cuba still presents challenges. U.S. credit and debit cards are generally not accepted, so carrying cash is necessary. Internet access is limited, and you should be prepared for intermittent connectivity. Additionally, all travelers must obtain a Cuba tourist card, which is available through airlines flying directly to Cuba or via specific online platforms. While travel to Cuba is possible, it requires careful planning and adherence to U.S. regulations. By understanding the approved categories and preparing accordingly, you can explore the rich culture and history of Cuba legally and enrich your travel experience. Remember, the regulations can change, so it's wise to stay informed and plan your trip while the opportunity is open. Ready to experience the unique charm of Cuba? Make sure to check the latest travel advisories and plan your trip responsibly. Safe travels!